Hey guys, so I am going to be answering some questions for you guys today. But first, I just wanted to say hello and that I miss you all and that I am seriously hoping that we get back to the gym anytime now. Um, I hope you all have been hanging in there and being as active as you can. Um, I won't lie, I've been laying in bed a lot, but um, seeing you guys get out there and going for walks and doing the gains we've been showing you guys has been my motivation. So please keep it up because I need it desperately. But other than that, let's just kind of roll into it. So for those of you who don't know, I am Jocelyn Ingram. I am one of the coaches here at RCIG. Um, one of the first questions that I have been told to answer is why have I picked RCIG? Um, so a Big thing for me, um, I just kind of stumbled upon you all. Uh, my senior year at VCU, I had to do an internship, and this is where I ended up. Um, a happy accident. Um, I applied, was interested in the program. I had never seen anything like it. Um, I walked in the door and got thrown into the foam pit, basically, um, and I loved it ever since. Um, so very glad that that happened. Um, but why I stuck around, I think, probably has a lot to do with just the relationships that I kind of built with the coaches, with Mike, with Katrina, the board, um, all you parents, and especially the athletes. Um, it's just something that I wasn't expecting. Um, it's something I am very happy uh, that happened. Um, it's just very cool to be part of something that I feel like truly makes a difference in people's lives, even though we're just running around a gym and, you know, having as much fun as possible. Um, so that's kind of why I chose RCIG. All right, next question. This one is very hard for me to answer. The question is, what is my favorite activity in the gym? Um, this is hard for me. Personally, I'd probably have to say the rock wall, but for the athletes, my favorite thing to watch them do is either the tumble track or the foam pit. It's kind of a tie. Um, the foam pit, though, I don't know. There's just something about it. I don't really know if that one can be beat, but those are probably my favorite activities in the gym. So these next questions are pretty fun. Uh, the first one is, what is my dream for RCIG? And I definitely would have to say that my biggest dream is for RCIG to have its own gym um, and for us to spread and reach as many communities as possible and maybe even have more than one gym in the future. Um, the next one is, if I could describe RCIG in one word, what would it be? And I don't know, maybe it's cheesy, but like family, really. Because um, everyone just kind of comes in and we just do everything we can to help each other feel comfortable and try to meet people where they're at. Um, for the athletes, for the volunteers, for the coaches, it stands for everyone. So, yeah, family. Okay, so I definitely lied. Um, this next question is the hardest question for me to answer. Um, it is, what is my favorite story about the gym? Um, I don't even know. If it has... Does it have to be in the gym? Because my one of my favorite stories, at least, is the polar slide. Because um, what beats getting pied in the face by all of your favorite athletes? Like I don't, I don't really know. That was pretty fun. Um, whipped cream up the nose wasn't as fun, but that's okay. All fun and games, right? Um, but in the gym, I probably leave with a favorite story each time a class ends. Um, off the top of my head, I would have to say my favorite story, which can be kind of modified to like each class really, um, would have to be when one of the athletes I was working with decided to jump down the tumble track instead of run down the tumble track. And I had been working with him for a while, um, and I don't know, something was just super, it was exciting for me, uh, just to see that transition from like, all right, hey, like I, I want to jump down the tumble track this time. Um, and after 
you know, weeks of, of chasing them down the tumble track. It was just a, a fun um, experience for me, at least. But anytime an athlete does something new or, you know, challenges themselves in a different way, it's, that's just always fun. And that's pretty much every class. So that's why it's so hard. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's, I guess we'll create new fun stories, hopefully, when we get back into the gym. <laughs> All right, I am glad this next question is here. It is, if I could tell the RCIG athletes and families one thing, what would it be? And it would definitely be thank you. Thank you for welcoming me with open arms because you guys have been so kind to me. Um, just, you know, I'm still a little naive <laughs> girl, but, you know, coming in my senior year of college and you know, I, like I said before, I, I didn't really know what to expect from the internship. I had just finished an internship where I folded laundry like the whole time. Um, so this was just like a brand new experience and a huge learning experience for me. And I've been just so thankful for all you parents and especially the athletes, a hundred percent, of course, um, just how willing you guys welcomed me. You know, I, I walked in one day, Coach Mike said, hey guys, this is Coach Jocelyn, and you guys smiled and waved, and I've felt like I've been part of the team ever since then, so I've appreciated that a lot. So thank you guys. All right, so these next few questions are a little bit more about myself. Um, the first one is, what is something that most people don't know about you? Um, so... Most people at RCIG, the families, you guys, um, I don't know if you know, but I am a certified exercise physiologist. Um, so that's what I went to school for. I got my bachelor's in exercise science. Um, so fitness is kind of my realm. Um, <laughs> this is kind of, you know, what I was educated for and what, you know, the internship at RCIG kind of sealed for me. Um, so yeah, certified exercise physiologist. All right, so this question is, what is my favorite food or treat to eat? And hands down, favorite food has been and always will be pizza. Um, I'm super simple girl, though. I just, just cheese, just nice and simple. Um, I don't eat meat. I'm a vegetarian, uh, so, I, it, you know, it may be boring for some people, but cheese, you know, it's all I need. Um, but, you know, on the other side, my favorite treat would probably have to be any sour candy. I can get my hands on sour Skittles, gummy worms, anything like that. Definitely. Um, let's see. What's this last one for us? What is something that I like to do for fun? Anything outside. I am super excited that it has gotten warmer. Um, I have literally just been sitting outside in my front yard and reading or sending emails or doing anything I can just to be in the sun. Um, I have missed it. The older I get, the more I realize that I don't need winter anymore. Um, I'm a sucker for a good snow, but if it's not snowing, I don't want it to be cold. Um, so, yeah. Um, I recently got a paddleboard for my birthday last summer. Uh, I haven't gotten to do it that much, but I absolutely love it. Um, it's super relaxing, and I am hoping to do that more and more this coming summer, hopefully, um, <laughs> with good weather and COVID permitting. That would be wonderful. Thank you for sitting with me and watching me ramble and listening to me talk about hopefully interesting things. <laughs> um, I know I'm a new face to all of you, so please, please, please reach out if you have any questions or... If you want to know more about me or anything like that, um, ask Coach Mike, ask Coach Katrina. Um, hopefully they say good things. But uh, yeah, don't be afraid to ask, um, especially now if you're a newer person for our gym and you, you know, I've been a little over a year now with you guys, but if you haven't gotten to see me much and you're wondering who's going to be working with your athletes, uh, I'm one of them. So <laughs> I hope this helped, you know, get to know me a little bit more. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys are all staying sane and staying fit and getting outside as much as possible and good luck to you all. I will see you hopefully as soon as possible.